Crystal here, Sewing for Fun in Elgin, Illinois, coming to you live from the studio with a quick tip for you about whether or not you should wash um, your fabric before you cut it. There's two schools of thought on this, and when I was uh, heavily involved in quilting, there was a group of ladies who, um, I would say it's about a 50-50, from what I heard from conversations from other sewers and quilters. Half the people will wash their fabrics before cutting it, the other half tends to just take it from the fabric store and go ahead and work with the raw material as is. Many times you'll find that the fabric is stiffer and easier to work with. I like that personally, um, especially when I'm rotary cutting and doing quilts. So for years and years and years, I would say I'm of the belief of not pre-washing. However, when I moved beyond quilting, um, and started moving into more garment sewing, I have found that pre-washing can have some benefits. Now, it also has benefits in the quilting world, in particular with colors that are not set properly, so colors that can bleed. Um, in quilting, you may find things like batiks and fabrics that are over-dyed, and a lot of that dye has not been rinsed out completely, and therefore it will bleed. And even in traditional printed fabrics, you can have that happen. So to avoid bleeding, um, pre-washing is a benefit. Um, the second benefit is in the shrinking. Uh, so in, particularly in the woven fabrics, um, they can shrink quite a bit. And flannel, cottons, things like that I'm, can shrink, uh, can shrink uh, probably the most. So I don't stress it with my beginner sewers, especially in the children's uh, classes because I want them to get to the fun of sewing. We want to just experience the process, but um, as they get more experienced, it is something that they want to start thinking about and make their own personal choices on. So I'm bringing this up so that you as a parent, if you have a child in sewing and who's getting further along in their sewing um, career, then you want them to start thinking about this choice. So today I have a sample of fabric that I had pre-washed because my husband requested a shirt for him. Um, so I took the fabric home to wash it. And here's a tip. This is what the whole video was about beyond the fact that avoiding shrinking and um, color bleeding. The other thing is I wanted to show you this cool tip to keep your fabric from raveling up when you wash it. So without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the fabric on the table. So this is the fabric. Yeah. RV fabric. Who knew? My husband wants me to make him a shirt from this fabric. Isn't that insane? 63 years old and he wants an RV fabric shirt. We don't even own an RV. That's what's funny about this. But anyway, here's the tip. Do you see these little clips that I made in the corner? These diagonal cuts right here? I made it on all four corners so that the fabric, it slows down the fray along the edge. Now I also tear my fabric so I have a nice clean edge here versus the cut edge from the fabric store. And I recommend that if you can. And really it's a simple process of taking your scissors um, and clipping just a, a little bit beyond the salvage edge. Okay, so if I were, let's see it here. So you cut in about a half an inch beyond the salvage. That's about it. And then take your hand and just tear it. Um, that will give you the cleanest, straightest edge. Remove any frayed strings at that point. Then clip your corner and throw it in the wash on a gentle cycle with as low spin as possible and you're all set. Take out your shrink, take out your bleeding problem, and your fabric won't get beat up too badly. That's my tip for you today. Crystal Sewing for Fun, located in Elgin, Illinois on the corner of Bose and McLean. Any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.